So here we have the Fiat 500 1.2S on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and I'll run through a few controls on the inside. But as you'll see from the outside, it's a three-door car with those anthracite alloy wheels. Uh, let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got that sporty exhaust tailpipe as well as reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space given the size of the car as well as a 50-50 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's a lovely looking car the whole way around. Looks really good in black as well. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get half leather seats, as you can see, with the lovely blue trim that matches the door card. And you get the 500S logo embossed on the seat. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard of this car as well. So let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the digital readout for the speedometer, and the total miles on this car, which are 8,744. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we've got stereo controls, as well as voice activation for the phone. So hitting that button and asking it to dial someone on your contacts list, it will do that for you, without you having to take your phone out of your bag or your pocket. That is, of course, once you pair the phone, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Uh, and then over on the right-hand side, further stereo controls, as well as the ability to answer and end phone calls. I say, again, that's once you paired your phone, which is done on the touch screen over in the center here. You would hit phone, and then just follow the instructions on screen. As you can see there, it's asking if you want to pair a phone. You'd hit yes to that, uh, and then follow the very simple instructions on the screen. Uh, when it comes to media, there's plenty of ways of listening to music on this car. Uh, you've got a USB and auxiliary plug-in. Uh, nothing is connected at the moment, so it's asking us to connect a device. And you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio once you paired your phone, so you can listen to music wirelessly as well. When it comes to radio, as you can see down the left-hand side there, We've got AM, FM, and DAB digital radio, and you can connect your smartphone app, your smartphone up, I should say, uh, to this car via the main charging cable it came with, the USB cable, and you get various Fiat-friendly apps that will also show up on this screen as well. So really, really great system. Beneath that, we've got the city buttons, that makes the steering light. We've got your hazard warning lights and front and rear fog lights, and then your air conditioning. So temperature is adjustable over here. Fan speed on this dial. Air conditioning is turned on, and you can see it's on with the light at the moment by pushing that dial in, so it's off now, or back out again. Uh, you can determine whether you'd like the air to flow from outside the car or recirculate inside the car, and what direction you'd like it to blow in once it's in the car. Uh, this button will turn off the car's stop and start, so this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that off should you wish to. Uh, that's this button, sorry. The button above it is the traction control, right next to each other just there. Uh, and then you've got the five-speed manual gearbox with electric windows to the left and right. And directly beneath that, we have a 12-volt charging socket underneath this flap, as well as the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.